So since ChatGTP came out last year, we could only use it with this interface. But we couldn't write code that interacts directly with ChatGTP. And that's because OpenAI still hasn't released the API. But that's about to change because now we can use this unofficial ChatGTP API for free. And it has opened doors to many cool projects like a Discord bot with ChatGTP, or a program that takes images with questions and gets their answers, or this one that lets you literally talk to ChatGTP. Here I'm gonna show you how to start using this free API so you can also make your own ChatGTP projects. First things first, we need to make a config file. So in my Visual Studio code, I make a new file and I call it config.json. Now, if you are using your email account and a password to log into ChatGTP, you have to put it over here. So you write email, then you put your email over here. For example, example at sign gmail.com and your password. Whatever password you have, anyway. But for me, I don't use email and password. What I do normally, I use this option of continue with Google. So I have to get something that is called a session token. So I log into my chat GTP account. And then over here, I do right click, inspect, then in the application tab, under this cookie section, there is this cookie for chat.openai.com. We have this section next authentication session token. So in the value, I right -cl double click to select the value, then I copy. That is the session token. I go back to Visual Studio. I delete this and then I write session underline token. And I paste this session token as a string over here. Now I just save it and close it. Then we install the packages. So I do pip install rev chat GPT. Now to make sure this is gonna work also in the future, because the developer is updating it quite often, let's install the same version. So I do 1.2.1 and then I install. This took a bit of time, but it's fine. Then we need to do pip install tls underline client and undetected underline chrome driver. Done. And the last one, we have to make sure we have the latest version of Google Chrome. So if I go to my Google Chrome, into this setting section about Chrome, I have this version 110. Just make sure you have the latest version so everything is gonna work fine. So we go back to Visual Studio. There are two ways we can use this RevChat GPT package. So one of them is to use it inside the terminal. To do that, I have to give the path to this config file that we just made to the package. So first I need to find where actually the package is on my system. So I do pip show RevChat GPT. Now I got the location of this package. I just copy it. The file that I have to modify is over here. Then I do slash rev chat gpt slash on official.py. So you can open this file with any editor you like. I'm going to use Visual Studio. So I put the path into this quotation to make it a string and then I write code. So inside here, we need to find this config files variable and it opened it over here because I have already tried before but if you don't have it you can just look for it you can do control f and then config write config files you can find it, it's a line 725 anyway we have to put the path to the config file over here so I find it over here there it is I do right click copy path and I paste it over here that's it. I save it and I close it. And that's all. Now we can use it. So I write python dash m rev chat gpt dot on official. So it's going to open Chrome and it does some stuff in the background. Now 
Now if I go back, that's it. We are logged in. So let's see what is your name to make sure we are talking to ChatGPT. We have to press the enter twice. And that's it. I'm ChatGPT. How cool is that? So it's uh, you can have a conversation over here with ChatGPT or you can also use this command exclamation mark help. Yeah. And then we can also do other things like reset the conversation, roll back the conversation and any other things you want to do. So this is one way we can use this package inside the terminal, but we can also use it inside the Python file. So to do that, I just exit over here and make a new file. I call it main.py. Let's import the package. So I do from rev chat GPT dot unofficial import chatbot. I also import JSON to read the config file. Okay. So first we should read our config file. That's easy. I write F equal to open. Then I open the config file, config.json. And then token equal to json.load F. So if I just print now over here token, it's a dictionary that has the session token. So I can try Python main.py. Here it is. So it's dictionary session token, and this is the value we just pasted into config file. Okay, that's fine. Then I write the API. So API equal to chatbot, and we pass over here token. Then I write my prompt. Let's just say hi to ChatGPT. And the response from ChatGPT. So api.ask and I pass over here my prompt. Then to print the answer, I can write print response. It's a dictionary. I call the message keyword. I run the file again. It's gonna open again Chrome and then it closes it. And then we should get the answer of ChatGPT in the terminal. And there it is. Hello, how can I help you today? I hope this was helpful and you can use the API to build really cool projects with it. Thanks for watching.